Hello and welcome to the Bible with Frisco 2020. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe. Today we are going to be covering Psalms 129 through 131 and 1 Corinthians 11, 1 through 16. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice so that the reading of your word will be a blessing to you and for those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. Psalm 129, a song of essence. They have greatly oppressed me from my youth, let Israel say. They have greatly oppressed me from my youth, but they have not gained victory over me. Plowmen have plowed my back and made their furrows long. But the Lord is righteous. He has cut me free from the cords of the wicked. May all who hate Zion be turned back in shame. May they be like the grass on the roof, which withers before it can grow. A reaper cannot fill his hands with it, nor one who gathers fill his arms. May those who, by, who pass by not say to them, The blessings of the Lord be on you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Psalm 130 a song of essence. Out of the depths I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, Lord, keep a record of sins, Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, so that we can, with reverence, serve you. I wait for the Lord my whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. I wait for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning, more than watchmen wait for the morning. Israel, put your hope in the Lord, for with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. He himself will redeem Israel from all their sins. Psalm 131, a song of ascents of David. My heart is not proud, Lord. My ears are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I have claimed the and quieted myself. I have calmed and quieted myself. I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child, I am content. Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and forevermore. Okay, that was Psalms 129 through 130. Now let's turn to the New Testament and find... 1 Corinthians 11, 1, 1 Corinthians 11, 1, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ on covering the, the head uh, in worship. I praise you for remembering me in everything and for holding to the traditions just as I pass them on to you. But I want you to realize that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man who prays or prophesies with his head covered dishonors his head. But Every woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head. It is the same as having her head shaved, for if a woman does not cover her head, she might as well have her hair cut off. But 
if it is a disgrace for a woman to have her hair cut off or her head shaved, then she should cover her head. A man ought not to cover his head, since he is the image and glory of God, but women, but woman is the glory of man. For man did not come from woman, but woman from man. Neither was man created for woman, but woman for man. It is for this reason that a woman ought to have authority over her own head, because of the angels. Nevertheless, in the Lord, woman is not independent of man, nor is man independent of woman. For as women came from man, so also man is born of woman. But everything comes from God. Judge for yourself, if, is it proper for a woman to pray to God with her head uncovered? Does not the very nature of things teach you that if a man has long hair, it is a disgrace to him, but that if a woman has long hair, it is her glory? For long hair is given to, the hair, to her as a covering. If anyone wants to be contentious about this, we have no other practice, do, nor do the churches of God. Okay, that there was the end of the Bible with Briscoe 2020 for today. Tomorrow we're going to be covering Psalms 132 through 134. And 1 Corinthians 11, 17 through 34. I want to thank you, Father, for the grace that you have bestowed upon me to be your messenger of the Word of God. I want to thank you for your Word so that I could go ahead and read it for the folks all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. And they all said, Amen. Thank you, folks, for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2020. I have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here. And I hope that you are too.